Sir, if you could back away, please. Let us mop up around here. That's it. So, you're the one David Sarah sent in, huh? At least you left some of the bastards. Nice jobs. Access granted. to secure the terrorist leader, Jensen. Now the bastard's free to spread his lies and cause more trouble. I can't believe they made us wait out here while the leader of these assholes got away. Who knows what on him now? Damn! Nice job securing the plant. I wouldn't have thought a security guard could handle this. You Sarah's an boy? Augmented one. What the hell happened in there? God! I thought Damn. you were supposed to handle the situation. How the hell did you let the bastard get away? You dropped the ball, pal. Sorry, Mr. So, Gordon. The target is You're the reason we were kept out of here. But my wife, Great. she's still in there. Hope all your little secrets are locked away good and tight. You'll have to wait until the building is secure. Now back up and let us... I gotta admit, Jensen, I'm glad someone decided to send you in first. No telling what would have happened if one of us ran into that hostage room. My wife, is she all right? She's fine. A little shaken up, though. Swab will need to debrief her. We'll see her soon. I, I don't know what to say. I, I I think I've given up on her. You're a true hero, man. I'll find some way to repay this, I swear. There's no need for that. I was just doing my job. Don't be modest. I, I didn't recognize you before, but I know who you are, Mr. Jensen. And I know you weren't supposed to be back at work yet. Thank God you are. I'll be in touch. Count on it. Seriously. I can't. You made a lot of people happy tonight, Jensen. And not just the men in suits. It's what they pay me for. No. They pay you to put corporate interests ahead of people. You found a way to satisfy everyone. Guess Dr. Reed was telling the truth about you. Megan? What are you talking about, Malik? Before you were hired. She said the papers were lying about Mexican Town. That you weren't fired from the force. You quit when you realized protect and serve had become protect and serve the corporate interest. Nice to see she was right. You ready to go?
Yeah, get me out of here, Malik. Your wish is my command. Climb in. New orders just in, Jensen. The boss wants Pritchard to examine the Typhoon ASAP. Copy that. Thanks for the lift. No problem. Hey, and, uh, Jensen. I just wanted to say, new look suits you. Like, you haven't missed a beat at all. Thanks. So, how's it feel? Being augmented. Excuse me? Don't take it the wrong way. I mean, I've got a few neuro enhancements myself. Discreet ones, to help me fly better. But I chose to get them implanted. You didn't. Now that you had a chance to try him out, what do you think? You're right. I didn't choose to get augmented. And I still don't know if I would have if given the choice. But today felt good. Surprisingly good. Dr. Reed said you'd take to them. Said it was in your genes. Just be careful, okay? A lot of people think there's a reason the human body rejects this technology over time. I didn't peg you for the type who gets caught up in metaphysical debates, Malik. I'm not. I told you myself, I've got neuro enhancements. I'm just saying the choices we do get to make inevitably have consequences. Yeah. Tell that to the bastard who did this to me. I hear you. And you know what? You're not the only person in this place who wants to find him. So if I can help in any way, all you gotta do is ask. Actually, there is something. I wanna know about the first attack. Fine. Ask away. I've been thinking about why they attacked. What they were really after. Isn't it obvious? They didn't want us going to Washington. No, that was just timing. Hearings can be rescheduled. Somebody else can present Megan's findings. I don't think so, Jensen. They took out her whole team. Declan Faraday, Vasily Sevchenko, Nia Colvin, even Eric Koss. The labs their bodies were found in. Were burned to a crisp. I know. The only reason you weren't caught in the fire was because that retaining wall came down. Saved your life, believe it or not. So the whole attack... was just to destroy Megan's research? Sure looks that way. Mr. Seraph is hoping to reconstruct it, but it may take months. If he can keep us solvent that long. Did anyone else see them? The men who attacked? Not well enough to get a description. Pritchard got some fuzzy images off one of the IntelliCams, but his tapes were all confiscated by Homeland Security. Homeland? I heard Homicide passed it over to Special Investigations. Detroit Special Investigations. They did. For the first month. After that... All I really know is, the case is still pending. And Mr. Seraph is not pleased. You were there that night. What do you remember about it? That it was chaos. First, everybody figured there'd been some kind of accident, but Pritchard couldn't get a good visual and communications were haywire. Then we heard the explosions. By the time anyone knew what had hit us... They were gone. Whoever they were, they were good, Jensen. Special training good. I'm gonna find a Malik. One way or another. I believe you. And just so you know, when you do, I've got your back. I appreciate that, Malik, but right now... You've got to get the Typhoon into the tech lab, right. See you later, then. Oh, and Jensen, the boss wants a face-to-face -face debrief in his office once it's secure. Roger that. Good night, Malik. Can you believe those fanatics? I mean, they think taking hostages will get augmentations banned? What's your take on this, Adam? Two attacks in six months? Can't be a coincidence.
Oh, did you hear yet? There was a demonstration at the Lynn Clinic. Anti-augmenters. Mostly peaceful, though. Great job at the plant, boss. Wish I could have gone out with you, but things got a little tense over here, too. Those are some top-of-the-line augmentations Mr. Sarah hooked you up with, Jensen. Did you get a chance to test them out at the Milwaukee Junction facility? Another attack? Can't wait to see what you at. Someone tell me how the purists were even able to break into the plant? We're supposed to have state-of-the-art security I measures I think it's here. disgusting how public opinion has turned on David so quickly. Hey, Jensen, heard about what happened in Milwaukee Junction tonight. Is it true they were really after the typhoon? But Adam, I heard you were back, but I just didn't believe it. Gosh, you look good. I think it's disgusting how public opinion has turned on David so quickly. Like it's his fault these lunatics keep attacking us. Big I spinning it that way. Seriously. It used to be that Hello? David talks all the Detroit women. What happened? What happened to that David made No one knows. They should have been able to get in. Oh, like one company. Yes, we all heard. Hopefully I can get out of here soon. Okay. Take care. all over the office, Mr. J. You really took care of those purity first assholes. Wish I could have been there to see it. Well, if it isn't Mahatma Gandhi himself, come to honor us all with his life-preserving presence. If this is about the typhoon, I'll get to it in a minute. Now, Pritchard. I didn't risk my neck to have you lose it in a pile of CPUs and SCSI adapters. Well, look at you, using the big words. Don't think just because you hacked through the plant security system so fast that you're an expert on everything computer. There's a reason I can't examine the typhoon yet. Do tell. For your information, I am running a diagnostic sweep on our network and router security to find out how Sanders Hacker got a hold of our codes. I'd have thought the first question to ask is, whose codes were they? Unless you already know. Stick to kicking down doors and shooting people, Jensen, and stop trying to do my job. I guarantee you will get along better that way. Don't you have somewhere to be, Jensen? I'm sure Saraf is expecting your report.
Good work securing the plant, Jensen. Those augmentations must have come in handy. People out there siding with the bastards who attacked us. This whole thing just brings back bad memories. I love working here, but it's hard knowing that at any second. God, I can't talk about it. What if another bunch of radicals. Mr. Jensen! Oh, everyone's talking about what a great job you did saving the hostages. You're a real hero, sir. Can I. can I help you find something? Thanks, I'll find my way. Of course. Have a good evening, sir. Josie Thorpe. She's the plan manager. Right, Josie. Yeah, I met her. allowing men and women to improve their minds and bodies at will. In the 1990s, Hugh Darrow would become a mentor to David Sarif, inspiring him to found Sarif Industries in 2007. It is Hugh Darrow's foresight and pioneering spirit that motivates us today. The future holds a lot of excitement for us at Sarif Industries. We believe that advances in technology, in unison with good government policy and lower costs, will make human augmentation available to more and more people across the globe. And more accessibility to augmentation technology means a world with more opportunity. New developments with Cosmotech Dermal Layering will help to make augmentation look and feel more natural, eliminating much of the stigma associated with human enhancement and for the first time ever, Omnivision Transverse Retinal Technology will allow recipients to achieve true stereo vision without a dedicated chip. In Seraph Industries, a better tomorrow is our passion. Live, liberty in mind and body in mind, offers full and equal access to human enhancement products and across every global border of society. LIM runs an international network of low-cost, medical mechanical clinics catering exclusively to augmented people. Today, LIM has 150 self-managed affiliates operating 1,900 branches across the globe, treating over 8 million people each year. They are recognized as a global champion of the world's augmented people. Because of their tireless efforts, Tens of thousands of lives have been saved or made better. For this reason and more, Seraph Industries has been a major sponsor of them for over a decade. Proudly headquartered here in the heart of Detroit, Seraph Industries specializes in the design and manufacture of advanced mechanical augmentations for human implantation. In other words, we help people achieve their dreams by allowing them to reach their full potential. Currently employing over 1,500 people, we are dedicated to innovation while upholding a reputation for unrivaled excellence. New products for 2027 include the Smart Cortical Booster, equipped with the multi-focus aptitude chip, specially tuned to give an edge in mathematics, arts, reading, science, and technology. We are also proud to present Vistalight, the world's most advanced corneal replacement technology. At Seraph Industries, we bring your dreams to life. No one should ever have to give up a normal life because of a random incident or indeed lose a dream over a physical limitation. So believes David Seraph, idealist, philanthropist, founder and CEO of Seraph Industries. Pursuing this belief, Mr. Seraph acquired a failing Detroit auto factory in 2007 and repurposed it for the automated manufacture of prosthetics, founding Seraph Industries. 
Today, we at Seraph Industries share David's passion. We believe that human augmentation will give people every opportunity to improve themselves, making the world a better place to live. Guided by this principle, we will continue to innovate and produce the finest line of human augmentation products the world has to offer. In the early days of human enhancement technology, scientists encountered a serious obstacle. New limbs were being rejected by recipients, resulting in complete systemic failure. Human immune systems would invariably recognize the implants as a foreign invader and attack. Darrow Industries was able to overcome this issue with the Wonder Drug Neuropathy, now distributed exclusively by the Versalife Corporation. Today, Seraph Industries is working diligently to develop new technologies to reduce dependence on the drug, making augmentation safer and more affordable to the greatest possible number. No one should ever have to be of a random incident, or indeed lose a dream of physical limitation. So believes David Sarah, idealist, philanthropist, founder and CEO of Sarah Industries. Pursuing this belief, Mr. Sarah acquired a failing Detroit auto factory in 2007 and repurposed it for the automated manufacturing prospects, founding Sarah Industries. Today, we at Sarah Industries share David's passion. Every opportunity to improve themselves, making the world a better place to live. Guided by this principle, we will continue to innovate and produce the finest line of human augmentation products the world has to offer. It's just so unfair, Adam. Why can't people see there's a real need for what we do here? Dory's just a little bit upset. Family problems? She'll be alright. Don't worry. Restrictions. We don't know that for sure. And if they hadn't been considering it, Bill Taggart wouldn't have gone to Geneva to see that damn... Nice job securing the typhoon, Jensen. Would have hated to see Taggart and his humanity front group finding out about it. Finally, someone who can get things done. Welcome back, Adam.
haven't got a look at. Oh, would be the least of our problems. What do you mean? Lucky for us, Jensen was there to recover. I'm telling you, Hugh, he might not have put the gun in Sanders' hand, but it was Taggart's speech to the UN that started all this. William Taggart is nothing if not a shrewd political operator. You know that, David. So for the sake of appearances, I have to look him in the eye and let him bullshit me? With a smile. Always with a smile. We'll talk later. to see me yeah how you feeling I've had better days well when we're done here check him at dr. Markovic at the limb clinic downtown can't hurt to get a checkup if you insist listen about Sanders yeah about Sanders what the hell were you thinking letting him slip away like that I sent you in there to take care of things
hoping it'll pay off for us later. Sanders was furious when he found out his hacker was augmented. He's not gonna rest till he finds out who set him up. Oh, and you're naive enough to think he'll share the information when he gets it. I thought you were ready for this, Adam. I am. Today's attack was just a shell game being run by somebody else. I intend to find out who and why so that it never happens to anybody again. Good, cause so do I. That hacker in Sanders' group, you're sure he was augmented? I pulled his cables out myself. Yeah, well the police are saying he's not, and they're refusing to let me see the body, no matter how much money I threaten to pull from their retirement fund. Maybe someone else is offering more. So what do you want me to do, boss? We have to get a look at the corpse. You still got friends in the force. You think, uh... You think one of them will let you into the morgue? Depends who I run into. Get over to the station and find a way inside. Because if that hacker was augmented, his neural hub might tell us who he was. Contact me when you've gotten a hold of it. Boss, what you're asking me to do, it's not exactly legal. No, it isn't. You got a problem with that? Just figured I'd point it out. Oh, thanks. And believe me, if I had another option, we'd be taking it. But these past six months, seems like all the influence I built up in this city just dried up and blew away. Well, you were able to keep SWAT from infiltrating the plant until I got the Typhoon. Just barely. And now someone else is pulling strings to keep us in the dark? We need that neural hub, son. It's key to finding out who's behind these attacks. And taking up the men who did it. I'm on it. That hacker's not gonna be sitting still for long. Get over to the station and find a way inside. Speaking to David? I didn't know he'd finished his call. Is everything okay? As well as can be expected. Right, like I know what that means anymore. The phone's been ringing off the hook ever since Bill Taggart's little press conference this evening. Taggart? Seraph was speaking about him when I walked in. What's the founder of the Humanity Front saying about us now? Oh, he's all sincere this time. Denouncing all the violence that's been committed against us, offering to come here in person to express his deepest sympathies. Right. No wonder the boss seems grumpy. Can you blame him? If it were up to Luddites like Taggart, you would have died on that operating table. The problem is, he knows how to play on people's fears. Tampering with human biology can be pretty scary. Tell that to all the war ants whose lives have been improved because of it. But if Taggart has his way, if he can sway popular opinion enough, then the United Nations will be forced to take a stand. Mark my words, that man is trouble. You better get going, Adam. I'm sure whatever David's asked you to do must be important. Jensen, glad to see ya. Damn it, now I sound like his girlfriend or something. Hey, Jensen! 
Man, it's good to see you. I'm glad you're back. How are you holding up? I manage. I'm sorry about Megan. I know it must be hard. For a while, we thought you were a goner, too. Everything's going to shit. The attack on HQ, and now this mess with the factory. Yeah, tough times all around. How about you, Corella? You okay? I don't know. I... Uh, I fucked up. I mean bad. What happened? Well, a couple of months ago, me and Tyndall, you know, one of Pritchard's texts, we started sneaking out some neuropazine from one of the labs. Jesus, Tim. You realize this could get you fired, worse, arrested, if the company chooses to prosecute. What were you thinking? I know. It's just... it's complicated. I didn't want to do it at first, but there were good reasons. Anyway, now I want out, but Tyndall has security footage of me stealing the stuff and says he'll expose me if I ever stop helping him. I'm in a bad spot, Adam. I need that footage back. I know you're busy with everything that's going on right now, but I could really use your help. What is it exactly you need me to do? I need you to get back that security footage Tyndall has on me. It's probably in his apartment. On his computer, maybe. So what? I just look him up in the phone book? His apartment is near Brooklyn Court. It might be tough to get in because his building has a large security gate protecting it. Well, that's just great. Hacking the security gate is possible, but would require advanced hacking skills. You might have to look around for an alternate path. Maybe use the fire escape or something. And I should care about this because... Damn, Adam. Are you really going to shake me down like this? That's cold. I'm hurting here. Look, I may be able to get my hands on a weapon mod for you. Jeez, I never thought I'd have to buy your help. How about Tyndall? Can't you reason with him? You could try, but Tyndall's a pretty driven guy. I mean, the guy's like a rock. You'd need a Casey Og or something to crack him. I got it covered. Pretty ballsy stealing a patented drug from a secure lab. How'd you manage to do it? Both Tyndall and I worked the night shift every other week. I stashed the neuropocene in a bag while he edited the security footage. Guess he kept part of it. Neuropocene? What could you guys want with an anti-rejection drug for augmentation patients? Reselling it? Providing a competitor? Why do you automatically assume I was trying to turn a profit? All right, tell me more. Really? Wow, thanks, Adam. I thought I was done for. The security footage will probably be on his apartment computer. Meet me in front of the subway station parking lot once you get a hold of it. I got it from here. Humanity front. Yes, we all heard. Hopefully I can get out of here soon. The objective screen details your current missions and objectives. In here, you can find extra information that may help you better understand what needs to be done. Missions can be activated or deactivated, depending on if you want them to appear in your radar or not. Deactivated missions can still be completed.
Mrs. Reed? Oh, Adam, I'm sorry you startled me. And please, call me Cassandra. You and Megan were together long enough. I was waiting for you. Out here? Why not come meet me inside? I don't know. I guess I'm just not ready. This is where you work, but to me, this is also the place where I lost my daughter. I know what you mean. It's never been the same for me, either. I guess it's not meant to be easy. It seems there's just no right way to deal with something like this. And I can't even begin to imagine how things have been for you after all you've been through. Yeah. A lot of things changed six months ago. I can't get over how much they've changed you. At first, I couldn't even believe you were still alive. How do you handle all of this? They did what they had to do to save me. And in a way, I can do more now than I ever could. I'm glad to know you take it so well. Many of us wouldn't be able to cope so easily with such traumatic changes. Can I ask why you wanted to see me? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. I'm here about Megan. About what happened to her, or rather, about the investigation into what happened. What about it? Well, simply put, I feel something is not quite right with the way the case was handled. You think there was some foul play involved? I do. Call it mother's intuition. But when speaking to some of the investigators, there were a lot of inconsistencies. And then I met this detective, a man called Chase. He agreed things weren't handled by the book, although he has no proof. And now you want to find out more? I'll never hear my daughter laugh again, Adam. I'll never get a call from her to ask how I've been, or have the chance to ask her about her day. She was stolen from me. However unjustified this all is, I still want to know why it happened. I can see why she loved you. Not even that degree of mechanical modification could change what she saw in you. Please, will you help me find out what really happened to her? Should I expect some form of compensation for this? Adam, you're... You're serious, aren't you? My God. This isn't who you used to be. I thought a chance to know what really happened to Megan, what really happened to you, would have been enough. Would have been worth your time. I never got a chance to investigate the attack myself. I'll look into it. Thank you. This means the world to me, Adam. Really. The first thing I'll need to do is meet with this detective, Chase. Good. He works part-time as a security guard in an apartment building on Brooklyn Court. I'll be waiting for you in your apartment lobby once you're done. Why does a detective need to work part-time as a security guard? Oh, he retired soon after the case. I don't really know the details. Maybe he'll tell you more. I'm on it. Jansen, right? I've heard about you. Yeah. You were a good cop by most accounts, but you're lucky you got out. My neighbors were there when it happened, you know. The hostage taking at the Seraph plant. I don't really have anything against him. I just think it's disgusting. I mean, grafting metal into your skin? Yuck. I guess you don't have any tattoos. It's not the same. You don't need to take drugs for the rest of your life when you have a tattoo. Well, I think what you do to your body is up to you. Yeah? Well, when everybody's done doing what they want, what happens to people like us who refuse to become machines? We become the weaker species, that's what. And the next thing you know, we'll be the ones living in derelict Road. Wow, you really don't have an opinion on this, do you? I'm sorry. We're having a private conversation here? 2027 and we're still arguing about the damn environment. When I was a kid, it was the big news. Global warming, rising oceans. It was already too late back then. Hey, you seem nice and all, but I'm really not interested. 
tell me something. How can anyone justify protesting at a limb clinic? They're helping people, for Christ's sakes. You believe it? We had the place surrounded, and we were ordered to hang back. Since when did we take orders from David Sarif? Maybe there was some hazardous material they were worried about. More like there was something illegal in there that they wanted their rent-a-cop to get rid of. We should have never let that guy in. I thought Jensen did okay. He helped save the hostages. He got lucky. You're Jensen, right? One of my buddies told me what you did at the plant. Nice job saving those hostages. I got nothing to say to you. If you want something from Detroit PD, go cry to your boss about it. I'd advise you to stay away from the DRB gang if you can. Just stay in the brightly lit streets and you'll be fine. I can't believe this whole hostage thing. Terrorists on our own soil? I know, and that guy Taggart claiming he has no connection? I don't believe that. Nice sunglasses. But it's nighttime, you dig? <sighs> it's impossible to hail a cab in this part of town. I got a right to live my life as I choose. And this little corner of the universe here is mine. God bless America, man. God bless America, man. I was supposed to be here 15 minutes ago. I'm gonna kill Gerald when I get home. Damn it. My Wi-Fi's out, and, and I need to check the sports scores right away. Wish I could afford one of those cranial jobs. You're not one to take a hit, are you? Hey, stop bothering me! Don't get on my nerves, pal. Keep that weapon holstered, sir. We've had enough action for one night. Well, shit. If it ain't the captain himself. Mr. Seraph done fixed you up good, ain't he? Give you a new set of glasses and everything. Damn. How you doing, Letitia? Didn't think I'd see you walking this boulevard anytime soon. That's for sure. Not after what happened six months ago. People said you's down for the camp. People tend to underestimate me. <laughs> you and me both, Captain. You and me both. Uh, you, uh, got any credit you could spare? How about you give me some information, and then we'll see. Oh, damn, Captain. You ain't no cop no more. Why you gotta insist on using them rules? Because it's my money this time, not the department's. You want it, you better give me something that's worth it. Yeah, yeah, I guess. So what you want to know? It's 
It's been a while since I walked the beat. Where would a less than exemplary citizen go these days if he needed to acquire some unlicensed firepower? Well now, I hear there might be a gun seller or two around town. But an adventuring man, especially one fixed with some of them fancy techno limbs Mr. Serif makes, he might be able to acquire a few more if he's willing to go the extra mile. You're almost busting the bank, Tish. This better be worth it. Well, now, what I suggest in here ain't exactly legal. And you being an ex-cop and all, I hope you won't take this the wrong way, but everybody knows the best weapons in town are locked up inside the police station. Yes, and that would be very helpful if I were still a cop. But I'm not. So I don't have the computer codes needed to open the armory's door. Yes, but Tish here does. I overheard two rookies discussing it while I was warming myself by the trash can fire in back of the station. They was bad mouthing that new boy Officer Nice Field for choosing patriotism as a password. Said it was no wonder he was being fast tracked. <laughs> Whatever that means. Yeah, Captain. That all you got? I was you. I'd look for some bright lights coming out of the windows of a boarded up gas station nearby. And a bodyguard, maybe, hanging around. I think I've got all the information I need right now, Tish. Maybe next time. I be right here waiting for you, Captain. Again, I don't suppose she brought me a little gift this time. Help a gal down on the luck find some relief. Here. It's not credits, but... Mighty kind, Captain. Mighty kind. I think I've got all the information I need right now, Tish. Maybe next time. I'll be right here waiting for you, Captain.
I ain't got nothing for you. Check with the man. And keep your hands where I can see them. 